Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation, family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke, my sisters call me Charlie, and my 23 nieces and nephews call me Lukey Poo. But you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see pricing and more information on this unit. Once this unit is unavailable, that link will be removed. Coon Truck and RV is proud to offer brand new Gulfstream B Touring Cruisers with unbeatable pricing and old school family owned service. Give us a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440 OHIO RVS. For sale today, we have a brand new 2024 Gulfstream B Touring Cruiser 5210. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this brand new Gulfstream B Touring Cruiser 5210. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan of this brand new motorhome. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. We're going to go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. We have unbeatable pricing on these brand new Gulfstream B Touring Cruisers. We will beat or match anyone's pricing on brand new current model year like for like units. 77 inches of headroom here in the main part of the coach. Hard surface flooring makes it easier to keep clean. This is our air conditioner here in the center. It's ducted so it can blow through the ducts here on the ceiling. Or if you open a little flapper on that, it'll blow straight down at you. That's controlled via the thermostat over here on the wall. The thermostat also controls our propane furnace down here that burns propane to make the heat. Uses your coach battery system to blow the hot air out at you. Jackknife sofa here on both sides. Put those down here in just a little bit so you'll see what those look like made up and get some measurements. We have a screen window on this side. Pull these shades down for privacy. Screen window over here on this side. We have a USB charging station and an AC power charging station right there. That's on the other side as well. So whichever couch you're sitting in, you can charge up all your devices. Moving now towards the center of the coach and our kitchen area. This is our bathroom in here. We'll check that out in just a little bit. AC power there that the microwave is plugged into. Microwave will work on shore power plug-in or generator only. Hood light and fan, a nice little backsplash. Good amount of counter space, this is a solid surface countertop. Two burner propane cooktop. Nice big sink with a tall faucet. There's a screen window there in the kitchen area, help you get some airflow, drop that blind down for privacy. There's another little light you can touch on here with this ring. AC plug-in here. Light switch for these little blue mood lights. Big storage drawer. Room beneath the sink. Twelve volt DC powered fridge freezer. Freezer up top. Gonna control that with the buttons on the front. Fuse panel down below is a good representation of the power systems in this motorhome. We have DC breakers and AC fuses. The AC stuff runs on your shore power plug-in or your generator. The DC stuff runs on the coach battery system. And that's our thermostat there. You're gonna control your HVAC. Nice big spot here to hang your clothes, put your boots. Table legs are tucked inside of this. Nice big mirror on that door. Got a screen door for entry handle to help you get up and in. Light switch down here control for the power step coach battery disconnect that will disconnect the coach batteries to prevent parasitic draw we'll also disconnect the charging system to the coach battery system which are the shore power plug-in the generator or the alternator while you drive control for our water heater solar charge controller this is our command center here I'm going to start and stop the generator levels test don't always trust these these are notoriously finicky awning light Ceiling light, water heater on off. This will light itself, it burns propane. Water pump on off, that will pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. This runs on the coach battery system. Control for our power awning. Stepping now into the bathroom area. Got a skylight in here. It'll help you get more headroom in the shower. Got a furnace duct down there by the floor. Easy to get in here, not much of a step up into the shower. Easy to access the stool. Light switch there on the wall. AC power here, if you're a curling iron, whatever you got in the bathroom area. 
A little mirror here, help you get ready. Spot to tuck all your soaps and things. Got an exhaust fan overhead and help exhaust any of your moist air that you get here in the bathroom. The Jackknife sofa beds measure approximately 74 inches north, south, or front to back in the RV and 43 inches east, west, or side to side in the RV. There is additional storage and three seat belts below the passenger side sofa that make a total of five seat belts in this RV. What kind of vegetable needs a plumber? A leak. Speakers in the ceiling will play whatever the driver and passenger are listening to up front. Table stored there. Got our manuals on that. Nice big TV screen. Got a cover there that you can snap onto this. It's going to block off your cabin area to provide privacy while you're parked or if you want to separate the driving area from the living area of this motorhome. One of our most popular B Touring Cruiser floor plans. Got to mention we got a little exhaust fan here in the center of the coach as well. Check these out with unbeatable pricing at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV Brothers. Here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise. Vinyl flooring up front makes this easier to keep clean. This switch here is an emergency start or an auxiliary start. If you were to run your chassis battery dead, you can jumpstart yourself from the coach battery system here. Lots of different connectivity options here on the head unit, Android Auto, CarPlay, things like that. Got a USB in here to connect to the motorhome. Alrighty, folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this brand new Gulfstream B Touring Cruiser 5210. This RV measures 22 and a half feet bumper to bumper and has an 11 foot power awning. We have dual rear wheels. This motorhome was built on a Ford E350 chassis with a 7.3 liter V8 engine. Nice looking exterior, molded fiberglass nose cone. Furnace exhaust. Short power cord and hose for the spray port. Nice looking exterior on these. Power step's gonna come out when you open the door. Handle to help you get up and in. Back of the water heater, propane tank. This is mounted to the unit. You can connect a grill or something of that sort to the propane tank there if you'd like. Molded fiberglass rear cap. Ladder for rooftop access. Spare tire. Tow package, good for your bike rack or towing, motorcycle, a boat, something like that. Drain system is down here. Black valve is over here and the gray's right up there. It's all gonna come out of this hole here. Sewer hose storage, a low point drain. Plug in cable or satellite where you're staying here. Spray point here, works as your outside shower. Wash off your shoes if you go to the beach. Keep the mess out of the camper. <coughs> City water connection here. 30 amp shore power plug in. Gasoline fill will run the engine and the generator. This is a flush for the black tank. It will run the water out down here through the flush you want to have that open otherwise it can fill up your tank and come out of the toilet i think i mentioned we have a 30 amp shore power plug in there this is the fill for the onboard fresh water tank that will travel wherever the rv goes drain for the fresh water tank this is our coach battery generator side view cameras popular floor plan here at Coon Truck and RV. Check this out at truckandrv.com. The best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Beams are gonna be need dusted off. Yeah. In December of 2021, we embarked on a new journey. Crystal Fountain Park is Ohio's first spiritualist camp and the most iconic landmark in our small town of 800 and has welcomed guests from around the world for over 100 years. Hailed after its construction in 1910 as one of the most spacious and beautiful spiritualist auditoriums in the United States, this local landmark had fallen by the wayside and we knew we had to do something. So we bought it with one goal in mind, to restore it to its former glory. 
Research papers at our local library about the park end as follows. So draws to a close a wonderful era, a time rich with history that only through stories passed down, generations to come will recall a bustling and eccentric evolution of history in a small village in Northwest Ohio. But what they didn't know was, the next chapter of the story is just beginning.